You can change your life by building a business that is going to generate $10,000 in sales over the next 30 days if you start today. I guarantee you that if you watch this video until the end, you will have all the tools at your disposal to do it. You can start with as low as $0 and if you want to do it fast and easy, you can start with $5,000 to invest and you can start with anything in between. But you need to know that you are probably going to need to invest a little bit of money, but there's ways that you can actually do it without investing money starting from zero except the fees that you are going to need to open your amazon account which is pretty low like 40 dollars but you can do it and i'm going to give you the strategies in today's video if you do not know me my name is chris mangunza i release daily videos about selling on amazon so subscribe if you want to learn more okay so the first strategy that i am going to give you it's a, a it's a business model that is called online arbitrage okay so you buy daily products online on websites such as walmart.com and you sell them on amazon now the thing is that you are going to need you are going to require a little money to do this and if you want to do it this way you are going to need to have five thousand dollars to invest and by the way if you want to do it you're looking to find products you don't know where to look at here's a tool that you can use okay so Every single day, my team is building me a lead. They are working all day to build me a list of the sales that are currently going on online, okay? And so you can get this. My team is going to send it to you every single day for less than $1 a day. So we have a team of four virtual assistants working all day for you to actually send you this, okay? Less than $1 a day, link in the description, link in the comments. But what I would do is I would start from here. I would start from this list. I would find, and I'm, to, I'm talking to you from the perspective of if I had to do it again and I had $5,000 to invest, okay? I would need, what I would need to do is find a sale that sells shoes, that sells fast selling Nike shoe, Adidas shoe, Under Armour shoe, Puma shoes, or Reebok shoe, and find shoes that I can sell, that I can sell for more than $100 that I can find for less than $50 on sale, okay? Easy business model, easy to do, not too difficult. You can find them on calls, nike.com, adidas.com. The only thing that you will need to do is actually learn how to use a tool that is called Keepa. There's a link right there for a video that teaches you how to do it. And I will remind you because you will need this tool for every single business model that I am going to share with you in this video. So easy way to do it. You start, from the, you start with $5,000, you buy 10 pairs of shoes of 10 different models that sells fast enough on Amazon. And you do this first week, you send them, they will arrive after two weeks to Amazon if everything goes well. And in one week, they should sell out, okay? Easy way to do it. You just buy 100 pair of shoes for, for $50. You sell them over $100. Easy money. You make 25 to $3,000 profit, maybe a little bit more than 2,000 profits. If you can get the shoe a little bit more under $50, easy money, easy business model. And that's, that, that's basically $10,000 in sale, okay? No need to make it complicated. Get the daily target list, okay? Click the link, watch the link in the description, full video on how, on how it works and how, like all the details, do this, okay? The other thing that you can do, you can do something that is called retail arbitrage. Now, retail arbitrage, you will need to be physically present, present in the US. And you, the, the good thing, by the way, with the other business model is that you can run it from anywhere in the world. You just ship the stuff to a company that's called a prep center that is going to label your products, okay? It's going to label your product and get them ready, ship them to a prep center. You send 100 units, easy money. They, they send it to Amazon for you and they are going to do everything for you. They are going to prep the products. Amazon is going to take care of the customer service and shipping the products. No, retail arbitrage, you are going to need to go into stores looking for products. So I did not say this, but with online arbitrage, you can usually expect to, if you pay, if you want to make $10,000 in sale, you're going to need to spend around 50% of that in inventory. So it's going to be like $5,000 in inventory. This is why I told you that you wouldn't need $5,000. No. With retail arbitrage, you can go as low as 30% if you are really good with sourcing and you know where to look. I would recommend you to look at a store called Russ, okay, Russ Dress for Less. You are going to find a lot of clothing items, a lot of toys that have higher return on investment and better profit margins, okay. So if you are just starting, do this, get and get it in a few brands so, because yes, you need to get approval to sell a few of those brands. I have a ton of videos on that, by the way, but you can do retail arbitrage. And so if you have less money, this is what you should go to because you have bigger profit margins, but you are going to need to drive from store to store. Okay. As I said, you can do, you can go, if you want $10,000 in 30 days, 
do one week, try to spend $3,000, same thing. Do not buy a ton of the same product. Try to spread your money in between different products because sometimes price tank, price go down and you are not going to sell the product at the price that you expected. And this is why you need to learn the tool that I've been talking about that is called Keepa. You are going to learn how to use Keepa with the other video that I will remind you to check at the end of this video. And you are going to be able to see if a product has a standing price, if a product has a sustainable price that you can actually sell the product for. Okay, so go to Ross. I have a full video on how to actually source Ross as well. So go to Ross, look for, look for toys, look for clothing, scan every single thing with the Amazon app. If you spend $3,000 in a, in a week, by the end of the week, you send everything to Amazon. You prep everything yourself, you send it to Amazon. You're going to make $10,000 in sale uh, during the rest of the month. Okay? Easy business model. 30% cost of goods sold uh, to revenue ratio. Easy. You make your money, you get your $10,000 in sale super easily. And of course, sometimes price is going to tank. But you are learning. Okay? You are learning and it's fine. But if you watch the video, you will be fine. Watch my video on how to use Kipa. Watch my video on how to source Rust stores. Okay? The last one, and the last one, as I said, you can start with as low as zero dollars. It is going to be hard to start with zero dollars because you are going to need to source inventory for free. Okay, so either you are going to need to steal the inventory, and I would not recommend that, by the way, uh, or you can do the, 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 what I'm going to suggest that you do is selling used books. So used books, you can find a lot for free, but it is a hassle. It is going to be hard. You are going to need to look through donation, people donating book online. Uh, you are going to need to go to library donation all that stuff where you can actually get books for free but a lot of those places sometimes at library you actually need to buy them but it is going to be super cheap yes you can start with zero but it is going to be hard to 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 get the amount of inventory that you would need the number of units okay because if you sell a used book on amazon it is usually like on average going to be in between 15 dollars to 20 dollars okay per book okay if you want to sell 10 $10,000 worth of inventory. If you want to have $10,000 worth of sale, I'm sorry, it means that you're going to need to sell in between 500 to 600 books uh, in those 30 days. So you are going to need to buy first to get 500 to 600 books. Uh, and finding 500 to 600 books for free, it is, it is going to be quite tricky. It can be done, but you are going to need to do a lot of driving. You're going to need to go around your town, around your whole your whole state, probably, if you want to do this. Uh, so it is not going to be cost efficient. It can be done. It's probably not the best thing to do. I would, uh, I would actually recommend that you actually get a little money into the business. And so you can get used books for $1 a piece. Okay, if you go to thrift stores, you do all the thrift store in your in, in your city, in the neighboring cities, and you are gonna find easily in one week if you walk all day, if you need to find 500 books divided by seven, it is going to be 71 books a day. So you are gonna need to do a, yes, it's going to be a lot of work. Okay, it's going to be way more work than finding 100 pair of shoes for a discount online, but it can be done. And if you have no money, you need to put in the work. You need to put it, you need to get some sweat equity, okay? There's no other way. If you want the easy route, you need to invest some money. Find a job, save some money, invest into online arbitrage, buy 100 pair of shoes, easy money, okay? With books, it is going to be a little bit more, uh, a little bit more difficult, okay? Because you are going to put in way more work. So just you know, go from store to store, you need to build a route, look on Google for all the thrift stores that are in your area and go to those thrift stores, scan every single book. You can use a, 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 an app that is called Scout IQ and it's going to help you scout fast, okay? Whenever I get back to the US, I'll make a full video on how to source used books. There's a ton of videos on YouTube already. Um, not as good as what I can do, by the way, so wait for my video. Uh, but yeah, 500 to 600 books, you should be good with your quota. 71 books a day for six uh, for, for, for a full week. Take a full week, find 71 books every single day. You're going to need to drive a lot, but it can be done. You're going to need to learn which thrift stores uh, are worth to check. But it's going to be like, it can be done, okay? You can do it. Some books will be a little bit more expensive than one dollar, but you can find books for one dollar a book at some thrift stores. No, some some upper end thrift store will charge anywhere in between three to five dollars as well. But it is still super cheap inventory, and you can build a ten thousand dollars a month business. You can make ten thousand dollars in sale. Worst case scenario, you're gonna need to pay twenty five hundred dollars. Call it another twenty five twenty five hundred dollars um, of Amazon fees, and you make five thousand dollars profit. Okay, for just 
one whole week of work, one week of hard work, you can take three, three months off. And by the way, books, some of them sell super slowly, but you get the idea. Uh, just with one week of hard work, you're going to make $5,000 of profit, okay? It is not too bad. Look into it. As I said, you're going to need to learn a couple of things. And like the, the main thing that you're going to need to learn, and I think this is really the only thing to make sure that you do not make mistakes when buying inventory, you are going to need to learn how to use Kipa to read data, okay? And so it is not as critical with books. With books, if a book is profitable, just buy it because it's just $1. But if you do online arbitrage, retail arbitrage, you can still get away with not being as good with uh, Keeper, but with online arbitrage, you're going to need to be really good with. You're going to be. You're going to need to be really good with um, with Keeper. So uh, watch this video to learn how to use Keeper, and I'll see you tomorrow for a new video. Thank you for watching.